Told me you like not videos. We're gonna hit the trucker's hitch today. Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. So in my giveaway video, a lot of comments came back to how much you like my knot videos. To be quite honest, I love tying knots. And full disclosure, I used to be a complete spaz when it came to tying knots. I would never get it right. I would want it making something that was impossible to get out. But years of practice and just repetition has solidified five, six, maybe seven knots in my brain that I love to tie. One of those knots that I use every time I go camping anytime I'm outside is the trucker's hitch. Now the trucker's hitch you've probably tied without even realizing it. I'm sure when you go to like a hardware store or you go to Home Depot and you have a bundle of wood or sheetrock that you need to tie down to the top of your truck, uh, you'll make a loop in the line, you'll push that, you'll pass that line through the loop and you'll make some type of tension knot or some type of tension on that line. That's exactly what a trucker's hitch is. Uh, in the bushcraft world, we use it to run a ridge line. So like I said, I was a spaz with knots and this particular knot, believe it or not, the one I love to tie and use the most frequent, I used to screw up all the time. I would tie it backwards, the hitch would collapse on itself. Uh, it was always it was always a nightmare and I, I always had to retie this bad boy like four or five times before I got it right. I take absolutely no credit for this. There is one human being on the planet Earth that was able to teach me the trucker's hitch. It's embedded in my brain. It's like branded in there. I have to give a huge shout out to Dan Wolwak from Cold Cracker Bushcraft. He explained how to tie this knot so a five-year-old can figure this out. It's silly. He explains it the same, I'm telling you, it took me, it took me a very long time to learn how to tie this knot correctly. It took one cold cracker, Appalachian bushcraft class to memorize the way to tie this knot. And I will never, ever screw this knot up ever again. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. I'm going to go step by step. These are not my methods. This is Dan Wolwak from cold cracker bushcraft. So uh, again, I'm going to teach you what he taught me because that's what this is all about. We share information in the bushcraft community. Dan, thank you. Okay, so if you haven't seen my other video out there uh, on how to keep your cordage neat, I'll put a video link right here somewhere in this video uh, and it'll show you how to keep your cordage neat. This is an awful lot of, uh, of cordage here. You're not gonna need this much for what I'm about to do. I just didn't know in this area, I'm obviously in a public park, uh, I just didn't know how far apart the trees were so I wanted to make sure I was prepared for this. So number one, when you make your, when you make your bowling knot, the end of your your cordage you want to make sure that your hand can go through that loop and what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap this around your tree okay you're gonna you're gonna keep your you're gonna keep your bundle of cordage in your left hand you're gonna keep your bowling knot in your right hand and you're gonna wrap this around the tree my little arms I have little arms okay you're gonna pass this whole bundle through the bowling knot and secure to the tree like that. Okay, now this is just the way I do it. You don't have to do it this way. You can tie uh, a double hitch around the tree like this. You could tie any knot that you prefer. I just like doing the bowling knot like this because it's easy to untie uh, when I'm ready to bust out of here. Let's move on down to actually, now let me show you. You want to keep your you want to keep your quarters neat, right? Look at this, comes right out, not tangled, not tangled, not tangled. Okay, so we've made it to our other tree, 10, 15, 20 feet away. And what you're gonna do now is you're going to wrap around the tree uh, once again. This is so ridiculously easy. Anyway, so as Dan Woolwack would say, you're gonna have your first tree tied off, you're gonna have it wrapped around your second tree. This is, this is where it gets silly, I know, but it's gonna burn in your brain and there's a method to his madness. It will burn in your brain. You'll never forget how to tie this knot and you'll always tie it correctly. You're gonna lean against the tree and you're gonna be cool. Cool man Dan, as I'm gonna call it, okay? And the way he describes it, so you can't screw this up, is if you reach your hand out and grab your line, this is a very comfortable way to hold your rope. Okay, it's very windy. 
Uh, this is a very comfortable way to hold your rope. If you hold the rope this way, it's a very comfortable way to hold your, your rope. But if you twist your hand and you grab it with these four fingers, it's actually pretty uncomfortable, right? So you're comfortable, you're comfortable, you're uncomfortable. Oh, but very, very windy. Okay, so back to where we are. So we're comfortable, we're comfortable, we're uncomfortable, right? You're gonna grab, very uncomfortable. You're gonna grab your ridge line with four fingers, four fingers, and you're gonna twist and keep those four fingers inside that loop you're gonna make. And the only place your fingers can go is on the ridge line that's going around the tree. You're gonna grab it and pull towards that tree that you're wrapped around, creating this loop. We're comfortable, we're comfortable, we're uncomfortable. And I'm grabbing with these four fingers and all I'm doing is twisting, okay? And as you can see, I have a loop there. The only thing I can do with my fingers here is grab this line. I'm gonna pull it through and pull towards the tree I'm tying off to. And I'm gonna have a loop in my knot like this. If you pull the opposite way, you're gonna see it's like a slip knot, okay? And it will, it'll come right out, all right? But if you do, if it's an actual, if you've done this correctly, when you pull on the, on the hitch, you can, I have all my weight on that. That is not gonna slip and that's not gonna collapse on itself. So that's what you're looking for. Okay, so now we have our loop, okay? What we're gonna do is we're going to pass our bundle, it's got a little sloppy here because it's a little windy today. We're gonna pass our bundle a rope through that loop. Okay, and then we're now gonna pull, creating the tension. I can now pull this as tight as I want you have a super ridge line and this hitch knot is not slipping anywhere okay so we have this nice and tight now we have our ridge line set up now to tie this off okay we're going to take these lines and we're going to pinch them together and give them a death grip we're going to take the remaining line we have and throw the whole thing over okay don't care about the mess you're going to pull back and you're going to make like a number four you see how this almost like makes like number four okay right here and you're gonna reach through and tie it off okay so your finished product is here you have your truck is hitched you have your ridge line uh, and now you have your slip knot here to untie this it is so easy okay you're going to pull simply pull slips out Pull your excess rope through. You have what you made your hitch with. And all you're gonna do is pull both sides of this. It comes right out. So that's it, a real useful knot to use around the campsite while you're bushcrafting, or even if you're at the hardware store, picking up some stuff that you need to tie down to the, the hood of your car or the roof of your car. And you don't have to look like a complete uh, dodo when tying this, because now you know the correct way to do it. So that's gonna wrap it up for me today, guys. Real simple, real useful knot. The truck is hitched. Thanks, Dan Woolwack. Uh, guys, check out his website, check out his Bushman classes. Uh, they're absolutely awesome, worth every single penny, worth every single second that you're there. I learned a ton of uh, information uh, while camping with him and his team for uh, two or three days. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, ring that bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. Uh, I really appreciate you checking me out today. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft, signing out.